Okay, hey everybody, Piano Flow here, and we are at step number five to this um, finding the sequence of how to, you know, how we break down these songs, right? Okay, so step number five, what I do is I print out that chord chart that we looked up, and I don't know if you can really see it, but it's just the words with the um, chords above it, so that's really all I do. And now what I want to do in this step five is lay out my inversions, okay, or my chord patterns. So we know that we're using a D. There's a traditional D. We know that we're using an A. There's our A, our G, and those are the three chords, right, in just various order. Okay, so I typically tend to say, okay, how can I play between here and there? This is my middle C, and this is just a good sound, right? I, I may play up here sometimes or down there, but this is where I start. So just from playing other songs, I know that if I use an inverted D, I can go really easily into this A, that's traditional one, three, five, with A on the bottom, right? So from the D to the A, and then all I have to do is go right here to the G, and then back up to the D and back down to the A if I want. So I, I've laid that out knowing, okay, this is a really easy way and position right here. I can go back and forth between these in lots of different order, right? Okay, and my hand barely moves. So that's the fifth step, is just laying out how that works. Now we could have gone D, A, G, back up to D, okay? Or we could go D and then do an A up here, G up here, back down to D. But, you know, if you've been with me long enough, you know that the inverted chords and just thinking about that right away really makes a huge difference. So that's what I do. Step five, I lay out the chords and the inversions so that I don't have to move very much. And then I can go on to step six where we start utilizing them. So I will see you in the next video.